Are you guys stressing over college? Because if you guys are, same. But if you do continue to watch this video, I will be sharing some things that I personally have found to be effective for me to help deal with stress. So, enjoy. So for today, I'm going to be talking about college stress. Before I get into this video though, the reason I'm going to be doing these videos is more specifically it's just that I wanted to help my friends, especially those who are going to be going to college soon because there's just a lot of things they usually ask me and here and there I don't have the time to usually fully sit down and to just have a conversation with them or text them about it or at least just let them rant to me about it. So I decided to give a shot to make these, these videos to help my friends to understand what they should do, what they can do. Anyways, going to college stress. So whether you're in college already or you're about to go to college, these are some things that you can apply and these can also be applied beyond college because I don't like things just to be only specifically for one part of your life. I'd like it to be applicable in multiple areas in your life. Well, number one thing is, it's the idea that it's okay that you're feeling stressed. Because I understand that being in college, when you're feeling stressed and you're looking at all your peers and they seem like they all got their shit down, it's not that, it's just that they found a way to handle their stress or at least acknowledge it and are able to control whatever they can. So, point is, first thing, it's okay to be stressed. It's normal, you're human, we're all human, okay? And yeah, just don't freak out. I've seen my friends freak out. Don't feel as if you're the outlier because you're super stressed because just because people don't show it does not mean they're not dealing with stress either. When you're dealing with stress, yes, you're not the only one, but it also means that you should not use it as an excuse of not being more productive, not moving on with your life. It is ultimately still your responsibility to do what you need to do in order to accomplish what you need. I understand because I have friends who have, along with everyone else, obviously, that people deal with family issues. They deal with relationship issues. They deal with a bunch of shit that people may or may not understand. And that is all understandable. However, although things may not be your fault or may not be in your control, it is still your responsibility to decide how you respond to it. So what are some things you can do then if you don't want to be in that position? Few things. When you're trying to move on from it, try to take it a step-by-step -step approach. Find something you like to do, whether it be exercising, whether it be reading, and another thing is go find someone to talk to. The few friends that I have talked to or at least I've bumped into when I've seen them crying or they're obviously very stressed out. When you ask them, they're usually going to say that Oh, I'm fine. When you see them pouring in tears and having like 10,000 crumpled up tissues surrounding them. Don't bottle it up because first you're being very selfish as, as much as you want to deny and it seems like you just want the attention more than it is you trying to resolve it. Second of all, you're having a lot of people that you love, your friends, your family, your partner, you're letting them become very stressed out about you. Don't just consider yourself, consider how many other lives you're affecting. You do those two things, right? But what if you don't know what to do? What if you... What if you're completely lost as to, I'm stressed but I don't have anything I like to do. What if I don't have any people to talk to? If you really have nothing or no one to, you know, Put your energy towards so you can de-stress. And just forget about it just for a moment. Here are some things I would recommend you. 
And keep in mind, these are not things that are like, oh my god, no one has told me before. These are things that are common sense things, but in case you never heard it from someone's mouth, hopefully I can give you value, okay? And so hopefully you guys don't think I'm also pulling this shit out of my ass because I actually wrote all this down and this is all from things I've experienced and this is what I've also witnessed from my friends, okay? So if you say bullshit, I don't have a comeback, but if you think it's bullshit, then whatever, okay? So some things you can do if you absolutely have no idea what you want to do is go around if you're going to college or about to, there's going to be student fairs, there's going to be groups, whether it be dance team, sports team, bands, clubs for esports. There's a bunch of shit for you to do. You just have to poke around and eventually find what you like to do. Go volunteer, go, go watch something, go do something to get your mind off of whatever it is just for a moment so you can get a breather. Another thing too that I have done personally is being able to take a few deep breaths, turn on that positive switch, tell yourself that it is going to be okay and everything is fine. And I know for some of you, some situations may never ever become okay again. And I understand, but when you're in that situation, you can't allow yourself to freak out or else it'll only get worse. So really take the time to really relax, break it down and just know what is in your control because more often a lot of us including myself we forget that we have things in our control but we're so upset or stressed about something that we tend to forget that we have things in control and we just look at all the external things we don't look at what we can do we think about what has happened in front of us <laughs> just take that consideration i'm just suggesting suggesting it um try it out give it a try let me know um, let me know how you guys do when you guys try it out. This is another thing. This is more just stress of, oh my god, I don't have time or things are jumbled up. So a solution to that is use a planner or a notebook. A lot of times I have friends who are complaining about, I don't have time. Oh my god, why the fuck are there so many things to do? Why don't you just write it down? because more than often that when you write things out, you could realize there are a bunch of open time gaps for you to do certain things, okay? It is up to you to realize that. It's not mind blowing, it's not rocket science. And not only does it help you organize your life, if you're able to follow it accordingly, you can increase productivity. And product productivity increases accomplishments. Accomplishments, reaches a good feeling. A good feeling is happy. Reviewing your life decisions. Are you complaining about too many things? Are you complaining about too many little things? Because nowadays, because people are so PC, you complain about, Oh, this cup is not Christmas friendly. It's only red and white. You're not supporting the Christian religion. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's just a company who sells coffee. So stop bitching about it, okay? And that is something I would like to apply to everything else. So when you think about what am I complaining about, think about is it really reasonable for you to get petty and bitchy about it, alright? Because I know myself, I complain about a lot of things too. I complain about why boba tastes like shit sometimes when I should just be enjoying it, okay? These are little things that you should not be complaining about. Because once you give too many fucks, you get exhausted. And so it becomes pointless. So that's also another reason why you're probably stressed out. You're just giving too many fucks. So learn which things are more important for you to actually complain or really work on. And also know when you don't really care. And it's just a small thing that you could brush off. It's cool. Health. One thing a lot of people do, especially when they go to college, is that they skip their three meals a day. Now, I don't know why you do that. First of all, you won't feel good, and you're gonna be very grumpy when you go to class. Do you wanna go to war, Malaki? No. 
Because we could go to war. No. I'm for real. I'm for real. And you'll be grumpy throughout the rest of the day. And you'll also be starving. So why do that to yourself? I, I don't get it. I try my best to get three meals a day, even if it's super late or whatever. And why should you even consider this? Well, here's a few things. First of all, if you're trying to lose weight, you're stupid if you're trying to skip meals. First of all, biologically, that's not how it works. I have a friend who I told this, and she's like, I know, but you should, let, you should let me do whatever the hell I want. What happens is, if you starve yourself, you're telling your body, oh shit, we don't have enough. Therefore, we need to store fat of everything we have left so we can last longer. What, and you have more fat? Yeah, 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 you don't look the best, okay? That also does not mean you should overeat. Because when you overeat, what does that mean? Freshman 15. Don't overeat, okay? Just because you're stressed doesn't mean you should overeat because I know that's also one habit when you're stressed. Learn to control your habits. If you're trying to skip meals, but you're also trying when but you're also talking about I wanna get games, bro. You're not gonna get games because you're not eating enough. And don't act like I know, but I'm, I just can't shut up, just do it. Okay? And also, food is good. I don't know why people are skipping their meals. People will be like, I don't like food. Shut up, that's what's keeping you alive. Okay? You guys are insane. I don't get it. Also, if you don't have enough sleep, you should get etiquette sleep. Sleep is important. If you don't have enough time to get etiquette sleep, take some naps. Okay? I do that. Every time I finish one class and I have an hourly gap, if I don't, if, I, if I've eaten already, I find a lounge, I find a library, I find wherever it's quiet and cozy and knock out for a bit. And lastly, lastly, for all of you all-nighters, I know I'm one of them, try not to always do all-nighters, it's not good, I feel like shit, my sleeping schedule is still all over the place, it's gone haywire. But if you really need to stay productive, so you need that extra boost to stay up, I wouldn't rely on energy drinks, but if you need to, I would recommend Yerba Mate because that shit is good. I feel like Yerba Mate is slightly less unhealthy. I'm not saying it's healthy, but I'm just saying it's slightly less unhealthy because, I don't know, it's tea. So yeah, drink it. Oh, that wraps up my video for today. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And also, if I miss anything you guys have questions on, leave it in the comments below. And also, let me know how you guys deal with stress because I could not have known something and you could have helped me and you could have helped someone else too. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you didn't, dislike. Also, if there's anything I could improve on video content wise, Please leave some feedback. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.